the basics of fundamental analysis. In our last video, Fundamental Analysis, we shared the basics to understanding financial statements, the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statements. For this episode, we look into ratio analysis, which is a quantitative method of gaining deeper insights into a company's financials. Ratio analysis involves the reconstruction of key figures from financial statements to understand the company's financial condition. The figures can be taken from the income statement, balance sheet, or cash flow statements. The first step of ratio analysis is to convert the figures under study from the financial statements into a per share basis. For example, the two most commonly used examples are. Next, we combine the per share figures, EPS and DPS, with the share price as such which gives us two of the most commonly used ratios. Price to earnings ratio, commonly known as PER, relates a company's share price to its earnings per share. Measured in multiples, PER indicates how many times the market is pricing a stock based on the company's latest annual earnings. For example, a stock priced at RM1 with an EPS of RM0.10 will give a PER of 10x, which means the market is valuing the company at 10 times its latest annual net profits. A high PER usually suggests the stock has a higher valuation relative to another with a low PER. This comparison will be more intuitive for companies in the same industry. On the other hand, companies with higher growth prospects normally command a higher PER. Next, we look at dividend yield. Dividend is the share of a company's annual net profit paid to shareholders for owning the stock. Companies that pay dividends over time indicate a strong franchise and good management quality. Dividend per share divided by the share price gives us the dividend yield measured as a percentage. Let's explore further. Imagine S and T are major rubber glove producers in Malaysia with their stocks priced at RM1 each and having a market capitalization of RM1 billion and 1 billion shares outstanding respectively. S made a net profit of RM50 million and T RM25 million in their latest financial years. Assuming all things remain equal, which company would you invest in? Firstly, let's calculate their EPS. Then, using price-to-earnings ratio analysis. Simply put, investors are paying RM20 for every ringgit of earnings to own S and RM40 for every ringgit of earnings to own T. While S appears more attractive, there may be reasons why investors pay the higher premium to own T, such as better products, brighter business outlook, stronger franchise quality, and better management. Next, imagine S declares a dividend of RM0.04 per share and T RM0.02 per share. Using dividend yield analysis, notably, S offers the better investment option. It pays a higher yield compared to T, as well as to a typical bank's fixed deposit rates, which are below 3% currently. The dividend yield strategy is suitable for passive investors who seek investment alternatives other than savings. Ratio analysis is vital to quantitative analysis. Different ratios provide different insights into a company's performance, financial standing, operating efficiency, or even highlight signs of potentially deteriorating financial conditions. Finally, the next stage in fundamental analysis is looking into qualitative aspects of a company. This exciting topic will be covered in our next video. So, stay tuned to www.kintrade.com.my and sign up for Kananga's upcoming workshop.